Hello, and welcome back to the last train home. We can sell things here. We have little to nothing that we probably want to sell, really. Um, the only thing I can think of is to maybe sell some ammo. But of course, I say that, and we will actually get a really solid price for it all. So, why not? We're not getting, we're not getting brilliant prices here, but... Mostly I'm just wanting rid of some cargo because we've got a lot at the moment. Um, we will set off now. Right, we'll set off. We'll go here. And we'll get ready for our journey home. I wonder if we can even put a squad together for this. Right. Who shall we send? These look to be fine. Right, send them. Deploy. Right. We got a minor injury, but we're good. And head back to the train. On the train, hospital cart, repairs and upgrades. We want more doctors. And we will need some workers to get this done for us. You know what? You'll get to it. You're on shift, but get on here. What else can we? Eh, it's just about done now, anyway. Right. Basic activities then. We're going to need a lot more doctors, aren't we? Um, who have we got? He's in the kitchen, is he? You're not now, you're a doctor now. Right. We have got one who's just recovering. So once he's ready in a few hours, we can just put him back on. Right. And that's most of the resources used. On that note, punch it. Here we go. Really? <laughs> Wait, he didn't he die ages ago? Like he just disappeared off the car at one point. That that's the guy who was in like minus five temperature but wasn't listed on the unit roster anymore. We'll have a remembrance feast. We've got excess supplies. Okay, and everyone's becoming alcoholics. Yeah, oh man, when, when you give them the vodka and it's like, there's a 1% chance of overdose and becoming an alcoholic. But you use it at a feast, 
and literally half the crew become alcoholics. It's like, what? We can't really take any more damage on the train. I think it's already down to like half or so. So I'd much rather not. Um, by the way, is that guy... Oh god, so if I go from gravely ill to regular ill, is that what I'm getting here? Oh, for god's sake. Of course, everyone's becoming a bit cold and literally just dying from being slightly cold. Right. We discovered a booby trap, right? Job's a good one. And we're missing a worker. Um, is anyone not in a squad that could be? She could be, but she probably wants to. Uh, probably wants to recover a bit. Mind you, he probably does as well. But it is what it is. Um, could we get someone else? Um, no, I think they're all. One way or another, unavailable at the moment. Right. Don't say that they're all ill. So we we assigned some of them to be doctors, and they've just become ill. Excellent. The last we assigned isn't even available anymore. Like, what the hell? Uh, we're going to have to assign some people to just be doctors. Mm. Oh, right. You there and you there. Okay. Jobs are good. Un. Yeah, where's the person that we assigned? So they're like a level 5 super sniper scout person, aren't they? There they are. Oh. They're an alcoholic now. <laughs> right. Okay. We'll punch it. We're fast approaching now. The cold has subsided. The, the annoying thing is, is that it, we just get to the, uh, to the night and it just makes everyone aboard the train. Like, we get 15 ill people. Right. In the locomotive. Right, we probably want someone else in there then for now. Sod it. Just get... We're going to have to, like... We're, we're just tearing the squads apart here. Um, right. They have no money to buy things, and we, they have nothing of interest to buy. Barely worth even stopping at this station. Is there anything else here? Nothing, really. Okay, depart. Overdrive. Go. And here, teeth of the weather. Shortly after arriving, you're disturbed by screams coming from outside. You peek out the car door to see three of your soldiers fighting with a woman. She's kicking and clawing fur furiously at your faces. They try to, uh, desperately to hold her, but she keeps slipping from their grasp. They become increasingly aggressive upon noticing your presence. One of them screams in, uh, at you in desperation. Right, he's got indifferent. Mayor, let's just shoot this woman. She's hysterical. She started shouting nonsense, then attacked us for no reason. From the corner of your eye, you spot movement. You see Captain Langer run out of the train. He begins to shout angrily at the soldier. Remember as well, this guy is a doctor. 
She's not hysterical. She has rabies. Can't you see? Look at her arms. Uh-oh. She's covered with unhealed wounds, distinctly recognisable as bites. Captain Langer takes a canteen from one of the soldiers and sprays the woman with water. Her demeanour immediately alters from one of them uh, and it alters from one of rage to one of fear as she starts to frantically wipe her face with her sleeves. He approaches her in a reassuring manner and manages to calm her down before uh, talking her, uh, taking her to the train. Boris is obviously ashamed for how he's behaved in this situation. You go through the train until you find Captain Langer. Major, I've managed to calm her down and get some information. She's from a village not far, and most of her family are dead. She claims her village was attacked by wolves. I wouldn't have believed it if, I hadn't, if it hadn't been for her injuries. It's the most unusual behaviour for wolves. She also spoke of seeing red demons. Indeed, rabies can cause hallucinations. Well, she might be on about the soldiers. I can see that the reds may have... Uh, may be behind this. On the other hand, don't we see them everywhere and behind everything these days? You hear footsteps behind you. Suddenly, one of your soldiers enters, accompanied by an older gentleman. He introduces himself as her father. She will die. There's no chance for her now. I can give you some medication to calm her down, but death is inevitable. The stern manner in which your advisor speaks reveals how... Uh, reveals much about his attitude towards death at this point in your journey. It seems like the woman's father is already uh, is already recon, uh, reconciled with the possibility, and he addresses you directly with little emotion. Go to a village and find out what happened. Kill everyone and everything responsible for this. I've hidden most of my fortune there, since it seemed remote enough to be safe. There's no one to inherit it now if you do as I asked. I'll show you where it's located, and you can have, uh, have all of it. If it can no longer be a uh, if it can no longer be a gift, it will serve as payment for revenge. It marks the position on your map. Probably yeah, it's over there. Right, I guess we're going on a quick mission. I mean, we don't need the money, but I feel like we should probably send them out there just to get his revenge, shouldn't we? Right. Well, Squad 1's completely been disbanded at this point because we had to put them all on doctoring duties. But, yep, let's get... Um, let's get these deployed. We'll send some bedrolls and with them because it is a little bit of a trek they'll probably be out for a few hours right um did they level up a bit they did um i could replace crit shot with death zone but we've got like three death zones the crit shots are nice for just dealing with enemies that suddenly spot us so we'll keep it as is Saves me faffing as well. Right. Um, while that's happening, do we want to make any more changes to the car? Can we do any more upgrades here? Hmm, not quite. Additional beds? We'll see what we pick up on the journey. We might just set something to be put together on the way back. If we set a put, uh, if we set two or three engineers on it, it'll probably be done by the time we get we go from there to there on the way on the journey back. Yeah, so we'll do that. And start the mission. Okay, we arrive at the village, it will be hard to find, the local nature seems untouched by human hand. The village was indeed hard to find, your soldiers have been looking for signs of activity for some time now. Uh, some time now. 
The sound of howling wolves is sapping their courage and determination. They're not used to fighting animals. Eventually they discover a path, seemingly man-made, nearby as the watchtower of the village must be, must be close. But looking at the eerie path, the, uh, the old watchtower and the howling wolves in the background, they wonder if this was a good idea. Right. Well, it can't be that bad. We're just hunting wolves. It can't be worse than being shot by tanks. Random interesting fact. The Russians, with their space program, always put shotguns in the uh, what's it, return capsules. The area seems eerily empty, like walking in a dream. But Let's yeah. be cautious orders. and make contact with the locals here. There should be a village nearby. Your Watch orders, the tree sir. lines as we go. Yes. The wolves are out and about this place and could be more trouble than the Reds. Oh, if there are orders. any Reds here. Yes, sir. But yeah, Russians, when they're it. landing spacecraft, they always have their in like the capsule. Uh, at the top they always have uh, a shotgun usually or some kind of gun because when they land you can you can probably figure out why well beaten path that's certainly uncommon we should follow them but yeah the americans always have you know like rafts on it that self-inflate and stored. all these things and and a flare pistol usually to signal to passing aircraft but yeah, the Russians to have it. to have a shotgun because, well, they're not going to land in the Pacific or the Atlantic they're Oceans, right there. are they? No, when they touch down, they're going into Siberia. And there's going to be wolves. <laughs> wolves and possibly bears. And because yes, of sir. the uh, infrastructure there, We've got to get rid of these days beasts. might pass. Cover. Enemy spotted. What a massacre! But wolves wouldn't attack these villagers out of their own volition. Something must have driven them out of their territory. I'll keep my head down. Right. Right you are, sir. I'll see to it. That was fun. There was something to see the. Understood. To find the wolf, then wasn't there? Um. There isn't anything down here, is there? I'll look. Oh, there absolutely is. This is On not the way. end of the map here. Checking position. I'll take what I can find. Right. Grab everything we can. It's not like they're going to need to say more. Oh, well, the guy on the cannon post is ill. Wonderful. Understood. Right. Mistakes Finding were made cover. then. Okay, we'll head up. I don't know what blowing that up's going to do, but we can probably find out. There might be uh, some stuff in here. Assuming position. We shouldn't have any problem though with wolves. Yes. Not at this stage of the game. If you say so. Right. Taking cover. Consider it done. Moving. I wouldn't mind. On my way. Finding another watchtower around here. To be fair. Checking position. Enemy spotted. Right you are. Enemy spotted. I'm going. Enemy spotted. Moving! 
Right, a bunch of rabid wolves. Just keep taking them out. On my way. So what is it we saw in here? Enemy spotted. Engaging. Devil take him. Right. Yes. I can handle that. Hello. What do you have on you? This is glowing. Oh, I had some caviar. Yes. <laughs> Wonderful. Right. Understood. Just what we were wanting. Eh? Enemy spotted. Taking cover. Okay. Grenade. Annoyingly, yeah, it's okay, not like letting I'm me... Going. Yeah, this doesn't count as, like, covered properly. Assuming position. If the Reds are here with a tank, what are they up to? Let's seize it and give them a Your taste orders, of their own sir. medicine. Finding cover. So this bit of cover is, yeah, you can tell it's glitched. Orders, I'll see to it. Say the word. Okay, where's our yes? medic? That's just a scratch. I'm a bit annoyed at that. Nightmare. You'll live. Is she going to stabilize him or what? There we go. Shit. You'll kind of wish we didn't bother now. That's just a scratch. I'm waiting. Um, is she gonna heal that guy then, or what? You'll live. Come on, heal him. I'm ready. There we go. Right. I'll see to it. I can do that. Yes. Explosives. Okay. And what are we using those for? Found explosives. So this is the source of all the commotion driving the wolves mad here. Let's put an end to this Bolshevik racket. Enemy spotted. Enemy spotted. Hello. <laughs> oh, that's a field cannon up there, isn't it? Go. Go. Keep. Keep going. We should scavenge for supplies here and torch the camp after we're done. Show them the meaning of total war. Uh. Mm hmm. I'm going. Let's get to it. Grenade! Okay, everyone with grenades. I'm listening. Grenade! This would be where we'd use a. Grenade! Uh, This would be where we'd use a uh, right there. artillery strike, isn't it? I've seen worse. Ooh, damn. Awaiting. I'll see to it. Take everything useful, burn the rest. <laughs> Take cover. Yes, sir. Let's see what's there. Um, I'll take what grab, I can find. Consider grab, it done. Grab. 
Yes. Keep him wants to use the medical yes. thing and then grab that. I'm all here. Yes. Your orders, sir. Yes, sir. Right, what's what's left that's useful? On ah. my way. Let's hope it's good. Taking aim. Moving out. Engaging. A bloody business. Assault incoming. Taking position. Um. <laughs> yes. Attacking. Grim experience, I must say. But the situation seems to be dealt with. Let's move along and let peace return to this valley. Should have stayed at home, kid. Right, and please just marked. immediately shoot both of these. I see Enemy. For the love of God. You can't hide from me. He won't. Get him. Ready! On my way! Sod finding the wolf then. Leave. Just leave. We're taking loads of additional bullets here for no reason. Understood. You can't hide from me. He won't get far. Okay. Say the word. Do we go back and find the wolf then? I'm going to save it. Understood. And we can load up there if we wish to go back and just call it quits. But I am going to do to a it. last look because there is, let's be honest, there's this one section of the map that we've not been to. I wonder where the wolf den could be. Okay, I'm going. Yes. It's very much a case of that, isn't it? It's like, yeah, where where could that wolf den be? <laughs> Understood. Okay, I'm going. I'll see what's there. Right. Yes, sir. I'll take a look. Enemy spotted. That looks like a wolf den to me. Moving. Well, there's a big pack of them at least. You'd assume that they're... I'll see to it. Okay, I'm going. Right. I'll see to it. These are flagging behind the course because they're injured. Understood. Enemy! Nasty looking place if ever we saw one. This must be what the wolves call home. Be careful around it. If we kill the meanest looking one. The pack will probably run off. I'm waiting. What is it? Right. Ready, sir! And on the note of killing the biggest, meanest wolf. Some oh, sorry souls so already there. tried dealing with this wolf there. Let's finish what they've started. We can use their explosives to blow up the cave entrance. Sir! That should do the Be job. Right there. Right. I'll look. Ah, there is. There's a uh, 
another exit on my this way. way. I'm gonna say it'd be weird if there weren't. So I'm, I'm guessing they probably didn't know which way you'd go here. So it's nice to see that first of all, I think he's changed dialogue there because he said we Enemy could spotted. use their explosives, as in you know, engaging. We got them already, so it acknowledges that we had the explosives already. You can bet on it. And it looks like they've probably put this here to act as a secondary exit if, you, if you did them out of sequence, which is quite nice. That, that's actually a decent bit of level design work there. Right. We should be able to exit. That gave us a lot of injuries because of that enemy base that we just kind of blasted through. They very, very much dislike you going loud in this. But it is what it is. We're off. Right. Medals to the injured. Seems fitting. Got all the combat XP we could there. Expended a few rounds. Got a decent bit of resources though. A nice bit of metal. We'll be able to do that uh, upgrade to the train now. Right. The father of the bitten woman appears, he walks through the red camp in utter disgust, he even kicks some of the bodies of the dead and spits on them, he approaches your squad. I can't believe they came here, no one is safe from them, no village, no man, not even wolves. I'll lead the way to what I promised you. We follow him uh, to the village and behind one of the damaged sheds, he shows you a spot to dig. With the snow uh, and the ground frozen solid, it's not easy work, but a few inches under the earth is a door leading to a small storage room underground. He nods quietly, walks away toward the ruins of the Red Camp. Your soldier gather a large amount of coins. However, the storage facility also contains food, coal, and some impressive looking rifles, along with a generous supply of cigarettes and alcohol. Alcoholics will be happy. It's clear this man is prepared to survive several winters with his family. And no one else. As your soldiers start to, uh, start to bring all the supplies up to the surface, a single gunshot is heard. It comes from the direction the man walked off in. Right, everyone can have tier 3 snipers now. Right. Very nice. Morale's a bit low though, but hey, we just got a bunch of stuff that boosts it, so... <laughs> Temperature only minus three outside now. Hmm. We have an item excess. Right. Um. Let's see about getting this upgrade. I think we must be close. Weren't we? We needed more wood, didn't we? Let's select a squad for this. Uh, take some of these, go and grab. Right. Someone's morale just hit zero, apparently. Yeah, overall morale's good, but I guess someone must be particularly annoyed. Um... So it's currently got it alphabetically, let's go on Morale. So down here we have, yeah, so. Uh-huh. Right, we're going to give him what we got. We've got 39 vodka, there you go. And this guy. Apparently you can give him a apple pie as well. I mean, the other guy were already an alcoholic, so, you know, the risk of becoming an alcoholic doesn't really matter there. Um... 
I guess we'll give him a couple of cigarettes. Um, quite a few in this state, isn't there? Vodka. And vodka. And oh god, yeah, there is quite a few. Vodka for you as well. <laughs> Vodka for everyone. Right. We'll get a few more. And we'll get some cigarettes out to these ones. Couple cigarettes each. Um, <clears throat> right. Okay, I'm, we're doing pretty well now. I'm around. I could go and sort out all the promotions and things, but there's that many. And right, these on the way back. Let's get to that hospital car. And get that final, final upgrade there. Start with that. And how much would we need for additional beds? A hundred wood, right. We need workers. Right, we'll get that sorted. Easy peasy, all done. Let's go with... You... And right, let's get these recovered. Swear well, Boris wasn't it? Let's get him recovered, and we can put him on the shift as well. Now let's get our severely injured people actually on here. It's just the regular ill can leave now. We'll keep the ones that are doctors there, though. Right. Get these all in. And because they've got three doctors on them now, that should go a lot faster. Right. So that should solve our problem, people being perpetually ill forever. Right. I think that's going to do it, though, for the episode. Hopefully it's a clean shot to there, but I am I am almost certain at least one side mission, maybe two. Given just looking at the amount of stuff and stations, like, come on, that's that's got to be a station, hasn't it? We could probably stop at the doctor there as well, just to get everyone back up to tip-top shape. It's too bad there isn't a pub too. But, it is what it is. Right, thank you very much for watching. This has been The Last Train Home, and we'll be continuing on to Vladivostok next time. And, ooh, we we'll have to do a bit of work before then. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Right, I'll see you then.